Hold on to your seats, folks, because we have a juicy story straight out of a soap opera. Get ready to laugh and gasp as we dive into the tale of a woman who received an unexpected email from her cheating ex-husband, who just so happened to be sleeping with her own sister. Yes, you heard that right. Join us as we follow the twists and turns of this wild ride and discover what happens when karma finally comes knocking on someone's door. My ex-husband who cheated on me with my sister emailed me after six years. I, 33 female, met my ex-husband, Dan, 40 male, almost 15 years ago at a restaurant when I was celebrating my 18th birthday. He was really nice, charming and mature. He made me feel loved and special. For some context, I grew up in a dysfunctional family. My mom and dad used to always fight. My dad would sometimes go out and not come back for months. He died when my sister Abby, 25 female, was born. My mom was way too fond of Abby since her birth rather than me. Abby was basically babied by my mother. She didn't neglect me at all, always did her best as a mother and provided for me, but I always felt something was missing. After Dan came into my life, I didn't feel like there was something missing from me. He supported me, he was caring, he would always buy me gifts and take me out on long drives. I felt complete when I was with him. We got married after dating for four years. I wanted to start a family right away, but Dan encouraged me to do my masters and help me build my career. He wanted us to be in a stable position financially before we started thinking about having kids. Seriously, he was the best guy I could ever ask for. After five years of being happily married, I discovered that my husband was cheating on me with Abby. I discovered the affair when my husband made an excuse that he will go out of town for a week, but he stayed in town and he booked a hotel room where he and Abby can have sex. This has been going on for six months behind my back. I was really devastated. Abby and I were close growing up. I loved her and cared for her. How could she do this to me? After the D-Day, Dan and I had a fight. I asked how he could do this to me. That too with my sister who just turned 19. He said he didn't love me anymore and that I didn't give him enough attention. That I'm not the same girl he fell in love with. Between this mess, I discovered that I was pregnant. But due to the stress, I lost the baby. He didn't even care enough to visit me at the hospital when I lost our child. He was having a weekend getaway with my sister. I should have seen the signs. Abby would always be touchy with Dan. Dan would sometimes stare at her. But it is still very disturbing for me. My mother, as usual, took Abby's side and told me to just make peace with it. I wanted to kill myself because I had no one left. I lost my child, my husband, my whole family. Then, my best friend, Tina, my savior, came to my rescue. She was moving to another state and asked me to come with her. I said yes. I was already divorced at that point and we lived in a small town, so I would obviously run into my ex and my sister. It took me a while to settle into my new life in a different state, but I met some kind people there. It helped me heal some trauma. I still have trust issues. I met my now husband, Tony, 32 male, after one year of moving into this new place. I was really hesitant and kept my guard up but he showed me that he is trustworthy and loves me a lot. I was so happy with him that I almost forgot about the life I had back in my hometown. His parents were really welcoming and generous people. We got married a year ago. I'm now pregnant with our first child. Yesterday, I got an email from my ex, Dan. It just brought back all the bad memories. I'm just paraphrasing his email. He mentioned that he misses me. He tried to find me, but couldn't. He's very miserable with my sister. She is very dumb and doesn't care about him like I do. I used to bake him a cake and throw birthdays for him, but Abby only texted him happy birthday and didn't even bother to buy him a cake. Plus, she's very rude. She doesn't respect him. She is always at the bar with her friends. He also mentioned that she has cheated on him five times already. The last affair was with his cousin. Our mother also doesn't stop her. He will soon file for divorce, but lately he has been missing me a lot. He wants us to try again as a couple. He wants us to become a family just like before. Since I do not have social media, except for Instagram, which is private, he probably doesn't know that I am married and I have a baby on the way. I don't know if I should feel pity for him or just laugh because the grass on his side is very brown rather than green. Update. I just wanted to say thanks to all of you who messaged and showed me support. I have decided to send him an email and be done with it. It goes like this. Dan. I'm sorry to hear that you are suffering, but there is no way I would be with you. Yes, there was a time when I used to be that girl who would have taken you in a heartbeat, but that girl is not there anymore. That girl has died the day I had a miscarriage, 
and you were somewhere shacking up with my sister. I called you, but you never picked up. I'm married to a wonderful man who loves me and cherishes me. I'm also pregnant with our first child. I'm beginning this new chapter of my life with someone I love and care deeply. So please, do not contact me ever again. You made your choice. You chose my barely legal sister over me. I do not care if she cheats on you or she doesn't respect you. Someone like you doesn't deserve loyalty and respect anyways. I have left my old life in my old town. It will be best for you to move on and have some self-respect for yourself. You are just a deeply insecure man who is getting old and thought having a young woman would be good by your side. Goodbye. Update 2. 3rd of March. A lot of you have been asking me what he replied. Well, he replied within an hour of me emailing him. He said that he was stupid enough to believe that I would still wait for him. And he said he would always wait for me because no matter what, I will always be his baby doll. I cringed hard. He used to call me that, but now it feels repulsive. I also got an email from my mom and my sister. My mom just congratulated me and was excited that she's going to be a grandmother. And my sister also did the same and said she will be the cool aunt. I cannot believe these people. They forgot how they treated me when I needed them and moreover betrayed me. I cried for a long time because I have been reading your comments and it seems like me and my sister were groomed by that man. I feel so stupid. I know I shouldn't be mad at my sister, but she was old enough to know it's bad to have an affair with a married man. That too, someone who is your sister's husband. I blocked all of them. I'm five months pregnant already. I don't need more stress. God bless my husband. He comforted me when I cried. Later, took me out for ice cream. I hope I can move past this. Update. I'm cooled down now. I think I can make a more elaborate update. Thanks to everyone who has shown me support. I needed it. The email from him, my ex, just struck me like a train. I had flashbacks of everything he has done to me. I think you guys deserve a detailed update. After I sent him the reply mail, he emailed me within an hour with the thing I said in my update two part. A few hours later, I get two other emails from my mom and sister. They sent me in my old email address that I hardly use now. I don't know how they knew about my pregnancy. I try to keep it a low profile. I still haven't posted my baby bump pics on social media or made any announcements. I only have Instagram to follow my friends, but it just scared me. I broke down crying on the spot. Luckily, my husband, Tony, was around. He held me and put me on the couch. He knows everything about me. I never hid anything from him. I was a little bit scared that my mom and sister would find me. He reassured me that I am hundreds of miles away from them. I mean, we are on the opposite side of the country. He took me out for ice cream to comfort me. It took two ice cream cones to finally calm me down. I told him about my concerns and that my mom and sister might demand to see my baby. It's a girl. He told me he could talk to his uncle, who is a police officer, to be on the lookout for them. Even if they come here and force themselves on you, he would fight for it. He is going to consult his lawyer friend about this matter and told me not to worry about my ex. He cannot harm me anymore. My husband even made a joke that he would move countries if he had to. Lastly, someone in my post commented that I should alert the daycare about my mom and sister in case they tried to steal my baby. Well, we aren't planning to put her in daycare. Even though I am currently working, I decided I would quit my job and look after my baby and focus on healing from giving birth. I do have a good amount of savings in my personal bank and this is my own decision. I will go back to work when our little princess is a little bit older. My in-laws are amazing. My mother-in-law and father-in-law live nearby. They're both good people and offered to help with my child. Also, don't worry, apart from my in-laws, I have a good support system too. Tina and her wife, Jenny, Tina and her wife, Jenny, basically adopted me. <laughs> they are really good people and always helped me. I don't know what will happen in the future, but at least I am surrounded by some good people that I never had growing up. Now, I will take your leave and enjoy my husband pampering me. If something big happens, I will keep you posted. And my ex, sister, and mother are all blocked. Let's get a quick reaction from the community before we call this one. Bicycling Babe says, He thought she would wait? He thought she would wait for his stupid butt to stop screwing her sister and come back? F that guy in the ear with a cactus. The actions of cheating husband and the sister are both morally reprehensible. 
and have caused deep emotional pain and trauma to the OP. Infidelity and betrayal in any form are hurtful and damaging, but it is particularly devastating when it involves a close family member. The fact that the husband and sister engaged in a secret, prolonged affair behind the OP's back and then showed no remorse or empathy towards her, even after she lost her child, is especially callous and reprehensible. It is understandable that the writer has chosen to move on with her life and not entertain any reconciliation with her ex-husband, given the extent of his betrayal and his lack of accountability for his actions. Thanks for watching. It's been real fun. We hope you laughed and had a ton. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon for another ride. See you next time on Our Lounge.